Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and for those that are asking me how come it installed on my machine and not on yours, well it all has to do once again that famous update that I tell you ignore it. Okay, Stop going every day to f install it. If it hasn't installed in a couple of tries it's not going to install unless you do the modifications that they are asking for and I don't believe this update will actually block anything else. I'm pretty sure that even if you have this error message, other updates still install without any problems. Uh, a lot of you have been mentioning that now you're getting only a download error, as if Microsoft might have pulled it. I'm not sure. So if it's a download error, maybe Microsoft has kind of, in, in if not pulled it, because if they pulled it, it wouldn't do that. Maybe they're kind of uh, realizing something that they might change. You know, once again, I don't understand why KB5034441 gets into systems uh, that aren't using BitLocker. If you're not using BitLocker, it shouldn't even show up. So uh, for those of you, because I got a f quite a few that said, well, you didn't even show that it's installed, and I did actually show it because it's on my update history. And I showed it when I showed you the update history. But for those that still want to see it, here it is. It is installed on my machine. So uh, ignore it, ignore it, ignore it. It's, it's pretty much everybody, uh, ev even the tech guys online that you know give advice and all of that. Um, they're all saying the same thing: ignore it. It's it's you know once again it's a nonsense to ask people to play with partitions. Uh, too many out there are like, well, you just do this or use this software. It's like, yeah, no, you don't even understand. You're part of the problem because you don't even understand what the majority of Windows users are all about. No, you don't ask people to change partitions. It's stupid. For others, that said, well, you know, if you have a PC that's not set up right, has nothing to do with being set up right or not. It has to do with Microsoft's stupidity in pushing an update. So the reason it installed on mine is simply this. I've got a recovery partition here, and mine is 954 megabyte, which is big enough for what they are asking. Basically, what they're saying is that they, you need space on the uh, recovery partition for that WinRE update to actually install. And in my case, the system had enough space because that recovery partition is big enough. It's simply the reason why it's okay on this machine. Um, for a lot of people, and if you want to check it out, you can go into the uh, search in Windows 10 and type disk management. It's going to come up with create and format our disk partitions. Just click on that and it's going to show you the way that your hard drive is actually uh, partitioned. Typically, uh, from what I uh, understand is that this partition here needs to be bigger than 700 megabytes. So probably your recovery partition or maybe no recovery partition because maybe you have just the health system which is 100 megabytes here, and and the C drive, and that's it. No recovery partition at all. Um, so it all depends on how this is set up on your PC. So once again, ignore it. And uh, for those that uh, think it's easy to use commands and play with partitions, uh, maybe you should uh, take a course in learning what the average um, home user is on Windows, and you'll see that uh, that's a no-no. Um, you know, that's the problem uh, probably at Microsoft. People pushing something out saying, oh, well, you know, people can re change their, rec their recovery partition size and so on. Uh, not understanding at all that no, the average user isn't there. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.